What's going on guys, Flatline Blades here. We got <clears throat> some Jason Knight, Knight Elements. This is a uh, design from collaboration with Doug Markaita. I guess it didn't go into production, so he made a couple of tweak designs and then they started producing it under the Knight Elements name. And these are made by Fox Knives. Since I've been getting into uh, higher end stuff and into basically the knives in general, other than a bunch of cheap crap when I was a kid, um, I don't think any of my stuff, uh, any of my higher end stuff at all has, has never been a kukri. So I thought it was kind of cool. Um, <clears throat> I was already looking at the fixed blade right when it kind of came out when I first discovered it. And then, uh, somebody I'd done a bunch of dealings with had the folder. So once I saw that, I immediately was, was like, all right, dude, I want that one way or another. We'll make it happen. And so I immediately went ahead and uh, bought the brand new fixed blade. I will point out a couple of things. Um, obviously the blade thickness you can see is, is pretty big. This is 0.16. This is 0.24. So it's literally a third, um, you know, 33% thicker or 33% thinner, depending on which way you want to look at it. And these are inch squares on my, on my board over here so you can see that the folder has about a, a little over three inch and then depending on how you're wanting to break this thing down it's about four and a half inches but because of the curvature and everything it's actually more just like four and then the handle is about five and a quarter so on the fixed blade, the flat is closer to four inches. And then it's about an inch and a half. So it's more like a straight up five inch blade. <clears throat> the handle is about the same length. What's intriguing though, is when you put them, butt them up together. Do y'all see what I see there? The folder handle is actually larger than the fixed blade. I'm not saying by monumental proportions, and I get it. If they wanted the same design, the same everything, the pivot is going to add a little bit extra length. And so from that regard, I guess they wanted damn near identical proportions. Um, weight wise, obviously this thing is a 33% thicker and it's solid. So, but <clears throat> both of these are black G10. Both of them are stone washed in 690. They're made by Fox knives in Italy. <clears throat> I think kukris are cool in a lot of different aspects, not just aesthetically, but cutting wise, it puts your hand in a more of a natural position. Some people don't ever really think about it, but like I'm sitting down right now and to actually chop something up here. It might actually make, it makes more sense if you're cutting something up higher. I guess that's what I'm trying to say because your natural, your natural hand position will be able to do it without having to tweak a handle like you would on normal knives that would be straight. This, you can have your hand bent drastically down and be able to get the job done. But anyway, I'm not trying to tell you a kukri is great for everything. There, you know, obviously if it was a lot better of a normal EDC knife, I guess, uh, more people would have them. They'd be more popular. There would be a lot more models of, of it, yada, yada, yada. But... Part of the reason I got it is because you just don't see kukris on on nicer, you know, 
all nicer stuff. You don't see them very often on a folder either. But um, lockup, really solid. Uh, there's there's no movement. There's no noise. There's no wiggle anywhere. And what surprises me is it's drop shut smooth. It's literally drop shut smooth. Like I'm I'm not touching it or anything. But um, I like it a lot. The one thing I will say, obviously, the other big difference besides the obvious flipper folder, but, <clears throat> and obviously it makes more sense because, you know, folders flat, you want it to be able to get in and out of your pocket and it is wider because of the blade shape and the handle shape. It's wider than a lot of knives are at the widest point, but the handle of the fixed blade you can see flares out i love it it fills the hand in my opinion i wish it was ever so slightly less right there but i'm not going to cry about it i don't mean it's a hot spot i just mean that like i've had a pistol where it had multiple different grips that you put in there and usually i'm going with let's say there's five sizes i go with the three or the four um so anyway i'm getting off topic slightly shouldn't even mention something on youtube right now because of the crackdown that's going on so <clears throat> i guess i'll leave it at that overall definitely happy with them they feel great in the hand um I'm surprised and impressed with how smooth the action is on, on the folder. And because it's flat, but it totally fills your hand. I mean, I don't have the biggest hands in the world, but I don't have the smallest, ha smallest hands either. I'm 6'6", 230, give or take. But um, <clears throat> I'm digging it. I'm glad I did it because it's different. You don't see many uh, cool kukris out there. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm sure there's a lot of them out there that are handmade customs, but, uh, you know, I'm sure they're not giving those things away. <clears throat> All right, Flatline Blades, uh, Knight Elements, Jason Knight, collab with Doug Marcotta, Fox Knives in Italy made them. Black G10, Stonewash N690, 5 inch blade, fixed blade, 0.24 thick blade stock. The folder, definitely lighter, um, 0.16, and it's more like a 4 inch blade. So, slightly longer handle on the folder, but an inch longer blade. It looks deceptive because they look almost identical just looking at them. It's kind of intriguing. All right, flatline blades, guys. Appreciate the watch. If you like it, check it out. Subscribe.